joining us for another one of our video casts. This one may interest you, it may not. I hope it does. Pesticides. I hear a lot of bantering. I see a lot of uh, information in the, in the media, which I don't put a whole lot of stock in from multiple uh, perspectives, uh, saying organic foods, even locally grown foods versus large conglomerates that produce food, no big deal, there's no difference. Think again. Clearly, pesticides, herbicides found in our bodies affect our health, clearly. Recent literature showed that the greater levels of organophosphates that were found in children and found even in mothers during gestational periods, the greater the risk for alterations and reduction in IQ and increases in ADHD type symptoms. Pregnancy. Clearly you see that it crosses uh, pesticides, herbicides cross the placental barrier. They can affect the child in the womb. Number one, first place, first source is really foods, right? Your water supply but foods. So it's critical that you are aware that the foods that you consume, I would just say to you that the foods that you consume in larger amounts, you've got to figure out a way that you either buy locally grown when in season or at least the ones you consume a lot of. Apples, whatever type of fruit, whatever core vegetables that you eat more of, figure out a way locally grown or organic. It will pay huge, huge dividends. So what they find? The NHANES study found that moms that were exposed or that showed high levels of organophosphates, pesticides, um, clearly the rates of attention deficit disorder, in particular the hyperactivity side of this, was increased dramatically and secondarily they found a general theme of changes and alterations in IQ. Now why would that be? First of all you have to understand that most pesticides, herbicides, have a lipid or a lipophilic nature, meaning that they are, um, they, have, they have an affinity for nerve tissue, neural tissue, okay? I mean, I don't know what else to say. They will get into the nervous system. They work by paralyzing, typically, the nervous system of a pest, right? They're going to get into your neural system as well. Limit your exposures, number one. If you're pregnant, limit your exposures. You've got to take heed to what we've talked about here. Number two, try to enhance your detoxification. How do you do that? Well, we've done teachings on methylation. If you don't take like the daily essentials or a coenzyme B complete, you've got to upregulate your methylation pathways to enhance your detoxification. So, something like the daily essentials or at least at a minimum coenzyme B completes. The other thing you need to think about is some buffered C. Why? because it raises glutathione, enhances your detox cap uh, capabilities, and enhances your liver's ability to be able to detox. Also helps to lower heavy metal load as well. Eat organic, as I mentioned. Probiotics. Think about probiotics because it enhances how you eliminate in the final phase of your detoxification. Remember phase Phase one happens in the liver, phase two happens in the liver, but you've got to detoxify at a cellular level, make sure it's brought back to the liver, and then have your liver pathways upregulated. Can you do these things while you are pregnant? Yes, you can. Um, vitamin A levels are not excessive in the daily essentials. I'm comfortable with that in pregnancy, but let's just say you're not pregnant. Let's just say it's even with your children. Well, you, you can still use some buffered C with them. You can get them on our neuro kids or our coenzyme B complete. But let's even just say you want to just upregulate your detox pathways. Ultra Clear Renew is an awesome prep. Two scoops a day. Make a smoothie out of it. You will up, do it for four to six weeks. You will upregulate all your detox pathways. You'll help your body's ability to offload. You throw in some buffered C. And if you really want to do this correctly, you want to do some detoxification, you do detox essentials. One to two, twice a day before meals. What about foods? High fiber diet, onions and garlic, cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, cruciferous vegetables. I, yeah, I know the, the smell of garlic is rough, but garlic and onions will help you. They're, they have 
sulfur-containing amino acids. They will enhance your body's ability to detoxify. Pesticides. Can they affect the child while it's developing in the womb? Clearly. Can they affect your child um, as a four and five and eight-year-old in development, in IQ, in attention deficit hyperactivity? Take it to the bank. It's in the literature. It's black and white. So whether you help yourself while you're carrying that child or you help the child once they're four, five, six years old by reducing exposures and helping some of their detoxification, it's all good. Links, pesticides, herbicides to brain health and function of your child. God bless you. Thanks for being with us. See you on the next videocast.